Hey guys, what's up? Um, just finished a little session for myself. Um, kind of feeling very beat up this week, this past week and a half. So I've been doing a lot of uh, really focusing on recovery after workouts and, and even on my days where I usually chill and do nothing. Having extra days where I really foam roll and really stretch and 30 minute sessions and really working on those problematic areas I have. But um, some of you guys that do know that, that know us here physically in the gym know that we put a, a, a team together for flag football. And um, I already foresee a lot of soreness going on for myself and for a lot of guys, period. So one thing I want to show you guys today is, is a pretty good routine or, or uh, something that you could do post game day or after your athletic events or after whatever it is that you do, whatever sport you play, whatever recreational pickup game of basketball, whatever. You know, you might be feeling a little beat up after those days. So the key is to, uh, to move the joints, move the body, get blood flowing, get a lot of stuff moving, and that's what's actually going to help you recover and, and feel better. So I wanted to show you guys something that I'm have our team do, um, you know, after game day, so they could uh, feel better and, and and continue to recover and uh, feel good for themselves. But uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing in order to take care of is you want to foam roll. You want to spend about five, eight, maybe even ten minutes foam rolling. Take care of that lower back, the glutes. Hit some spine mobilization, meaning move, move that spine. A mobile spine is a healthy spine. So you want to move around, you want to hit the glutes or the butt cheeks, the quad, the IT band. You really want to spend some time finding them tender spots and alleviating them or finding them pressure points and reducing the pain in that area. Next up, we're going to go with some YTWLs. So you want to hit about five, five of each. You can do more if, if need be. So remember, thumbs up and you want to retract back and squeeze the snot out of that upper back in all different angles. The scapulas move with a shoulder blade. So you want to make sure that you hit all these different angles. The first one was a Y on a, with the thumbs up on a 45. The second one you see here is just a T with the thumbs still pointed up, but going straight out. The next one is a W. There's different variations that you might see of this, but this is just the way I learned it. You want to keep those elbows bent. And again, just squeeze that upper back. You want to pinch your shoulder blades together. And the last one, an L, come right back, kind of just like a seated dumbbell clean. And you really want to focus on hitting that exterior uh, part of the shoulder and really, really forcing some blood in, and mobile, mobilization in there for some blood also. That's what keeps you healthy and that's what keeps you nice. Next up, we'll move the chest a little bit. So you want to rock side to side, moving that shoulder down to the ground, making that feel nice and good. As you get more and more comfortable, you're going to be able to get further and further down. Just obviously turn the head to the side. Here, we want to hit some band dislocates. Personally, people do it with PVC pipe. I like personally to do it with a band because they're, um, you know the shoulder moves in all different planes and you don't want to fix plane with a stick that band lets for that natural range of motion to happen. So you want to hit about 10 of these, making everything feel nice and good, really stretch. Next up, we just want to hit some lower body work. So really sit into a deep squat. Here, I just hit 10, but by all means, you can hit 15, 20, maybe even 30 reps, pumping some blood into that lower body. Follow that right up, just reverse lunge, kick right up with that same leg. Really want to get some dynamic movement to that hip. In just about four, I just did four per side here, but by all means, you could do more. With the body weight stuff, it's really hard to overdo it. So next up, we want to hit some bird dogs. Obviously, opposite arm, opposite leg. Really contract that glute and raise up that opposite arm. You're gonna feel a lot of squeezing going across the body, which is good. For myself, this is a problematic area. I do these all the time, all the time. So I just did eight per side. And obviously you wanna, you may feel one side's better than the other, which is by all means, that's, that's just how it goes. Everybody has some uh, symmetrical differences. 
Let's get into a good inchworm, just stretching out them hamstrings, really feeling that deep stretch. Walk that forward. Try to keep your heels down as best as possible. Here I just went about five, maybe six yards, but you could go further. Next up, somehow I just chose a jump rope, but by all means, you guys could go on a treadmill, bike, get the blood flowing, get you feeling right. <laughs> 